We will solve the cubic equation step by step using a quick centering trick that makes the algebra collapse nicely. Step one, we want all solutions, real or complex of this equation. Step two, center the variable around the middle point two. Let t equal x minus two, then x equals t plus two. That turns the three shifts into t plus one, t, and t minus one. Substituting gives the new equation. Left side becomes open parenthesis t plus one close parenthesis cubed plus t cubed plus open parenthesis t minus one close parenthesis cubed equals zero. Step three, expand each cube. t plus one cubed equals t cubed plus three t squared plus three t plus one. t cubed is just t cubed. t minus one cubed equals t cubed minus three t squared plus three t minus one. Step four. Add all three expanded lines. We get t cubed plus 3t squared plus 3t plus 1 plus t cubed plus t cubed minus 3t squared plus 3t minus 1. The plus 3t squared and the minus 3t squared cancel. The constants 1 and minus 1 cancel. We are left with 3t cubed plus 6t. Step 5. Factor out the common factor. 3t times t squared plus 2 equals 0. So either t equals zero or t squared plus two equals zero. Solve the branches. From t equals zero, we already have t equals zero. From t squared plus two equals zero. t squared equals negative two. So t equals plus or minus i times square root of two. Now convert back to x using x equals t plus two. Therefore, the three solutions are x equals two, x equals 2 plus i times square root of 2, and x equals 2 minus i times square root of 2. Only x equals 2 is real. The other two form a complex conjugate pair. Quick visual cue. Center at 2, so the shifts become t plus 1, t, and t minus 1. The quadratic parts cancel, leaving 3t cubed plus 6t. Factor to 3t times t squared plus 2, and solve. Shift back by 2. Done. Thank you for watching, tap like, share, and comment and then follow and subscribe for more quick problem solving tips. Let's make Nats simple, one video at a time only on Myverse Nats.